Hey everybody, we're gonna do a really cool thing today with an Apple Loop. We got this Apple Loop analog clap. We're gonna slice it up, we're gonna convert it into an instrument track, and then we're gonna bring it into Alchemy. Uh, this will allow us to take this loop just as an example, and it's gonna let us perform it in a different way, much like a Rex file would. So here's the steps we're gonna do first. Let's come down here to our file, and we're gonna turn on our markers, and then we're gonna just clean them up a little bit. So easiest way to clean up using is using the eraser tool. I'm just gonna delete everyone that looks like it's not in a place I want. With complex files, this may take a little longer, but still worth doing it let's see I think we're good now okay so we have all of those let's come control click and we're gonna convert to new sampler track using the transient markers we'll call this um, whatever we want And again, it doesn't matter where we start for this example, but wherever you want to have the trigger range be, that's fine. Click OK. Now you'll see this track pretty much turned off at this point. Now we just have this EXS24 with MIDI triggering it. So once we save our project, this is going to be saved inside the project file, which is fine, but we want to be able to access this from anywhere. So we're going to go into edit EXS24. We're going to do uh, export sampler instrument and sample files. And the default location is in your music folder under audio music apps under sampler instruments. That's fine. We can close all of that now. Let's get a new track. And let's open up Alchemy. Now for Alchemy, we're gonna go up into the global view. I'm gonna turn off the B, C, and D for our four sources and source A Let's import audio, and you'll see right here under music, that's our folder, it's in sample instruments. We'll just click on it once. Down here, we have to choose between some options. We're going to do drum. We're going to do unlimited layers so that doesn't simplify the instrument. Sometimes if you have this selected different, it can simplify the instrument. doesn't matter too much because this is a pretty simple one. But then we can choose what type of analysis mode we want. Sampler is the basic sampler. Spectral, granular, and some of these other ones actually give us a lot of creative tools. So let's do spectral for a moment. Click import. Now, it's loaded that in, and we've got this real-time spectrogram showing us things. But that's the way we get this in here, and then we can actually come through and begin to really mangle the original sample. We can program it. Uh, we can do all kinds of really cool things with this, but that's for a different day. This process I just want to show you today was getting that Apple loop, slicing it, converting it to an instrument, exporting it, and then bringing it into Alchemy so that we can start them. Okay, hope you enjoyed this real quick look at this. I will see you tomorrow.